After a disaster like this brush fire we saw last week, volunteers with the American Red Cross are the first to help those who are impacted. But tonight, that organization says their ranks are running low. And if you aren't sure if you have what it takes, the Red Cross says don't worry. They're encouraging anyone to volunteer, regardless of your background or skill set. Caroline Forbach uh, talked with leaders at the American Red Cross about who, how you can help. Last week, a massive brush fire burned about 700 acres of the Soldiers' Delight area here in Owings Mills. The large-scale response included about 10 Red Cross volunteers who helped evacuate 29 homes that were in danger of burning. Disasters like this can happen at any time, and with hurricane season approaching, the Red Cross needs all the help it can get. It's been a busy spring so far for our local branch of the American Red Cross. Uh, we've had a multifamily fire in Upper Marlboro. Um, that unfortunately um, affected 20 different families. And, and then the very next day, we had a brush fire in Owings Mills. CEO of the National Capital and Greater Chesapeake Region of the American Red Cross, Dale Coons, says the frequency of these events in our area is taxing their manpower. They need more volunteers to keep up. The Red Cross is showing up at every single one of these events with hope, with hugs. Uh, sometimes with warm coffee. He says while certain skills are beneficial, anyone can be a volunteer. But if you have no disaster experience, but you like to help people, everything else is learnable. Right now, volunteers are needed to help support blood collections and disaster response, helping people who are forced from their homes due to fires, storms, and other disasters, a need that will become even greater come hurricane season. Very large-scale events, right, where we need to set up a shelter. Maybe that's five, ten people um, that are needed to set up a shelter um, uh, to be re ready to go to make sure that there's food there, there's, uh, you know, all the cots are set up. Kuntz says volunteers are typically from the communities they're responding to. He says the Red Cross will take care of any training you might need, and you can commit as much or as little time as you want. If you're interested in helping your community, you can go to redcross.org slash volunteer. Reporting in Owings Mills, Caroline Forbach, WJZ.